go you are the great I am Alleluia Alleluia You are a mighty God You are the great great I am Alleluia Alleluia You are a mighty God you are the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are a mighty God. You are the great, great I am. Alleluia. 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 You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You are a mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia. 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 You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia. 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 You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia. 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 He is the mighty God. He is the great I am. Alleluia. 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 You are a mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I want, I want to welcome every one of us who are lying right now. I want to welcome you to prayer meeting. I want to welcome you to prayer meeting. It's another day of prayer, another day of prayer. The Bible says, "Pray without ceasing." Pray without ceasing. There is this. A uh, popular saying that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian because our 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 you know our power depends and rely on our communication with our Father. We rely on our communication with our Father. Amen. So I want to welcome every one of us. I want to welcome you to prayer meeting. I want to welcome you to prayer meeting. It is where we decide things spiritually. Where we decide things spiritually. Where we decide things spiritually. The Bible says in Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 that God made Jesus made this parable with this end in mind. He made this parable to teach us that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said, he gave a parable in Matthew. He said, a, a friend in the night went to another friend and tell him to give him something to prepare for his visitor. He said, even when the friend refuses to do that, because of the persistence of this other friend, he will have to get up to give it. So it points on persistence in prayers persistence in prayer we need to keep praying someone said push pray or did something happen 
our prayer is our weapon our prayers is our power praise the lord we invite the heavenly to intervene to interfere with our faith. we give god access we give him permission to work on our behalf he said as i hear you say so will i do amen there, there, there is a saying that a closed mouth is a closed destiny because we, 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 we speak out our reality. We speak out our reality. The Bible says, He shall speak to that mountain, and whosoever speaks to that mountain, you speak to a mountain, you speak to the mountain. Amen. So tonight we'll be, we'll be speaking to situations, we'll be speaking to things that are not, you know, that are not uh, as in acceptable to us. We speaking to those things. I will be giving God access to walk on our behalf. We give God access to walk on our behalf. It shouldn't look, uh, uh, we should not take that statement as something, uh, uh, you know, something, uh, uh, what will I say, something strange. We give God access. The Bible says he gave us dominion over this world. We are in charge of this world. He made man in charge. He made man in charge. So we, we, give, him, we give him access to walk on our behalf by inviting him. He said, was yes, two ever, two or three are gathered in my name. I will be there in their midst. Praise the Lord. Before we go ahead, in a moment we want to call upon God. To be with us as we pray. We want to pray that God will empower every word that comes from our mouth. Every word will be empowered by God. That even as we pray, the Bible says we know not what to pray. But the Spirit makes intersection. It makes intersection through us. We want to pray that the Spirit of God will direct us in the course of our prayer this evening. That our prayer will be fruitful will be fruitful. The Spirit of God will direct us. We shall not pray amiss. We shall pray under the direction of the Spirit. That at the end of our prayer meeting this evening, there will be reasons. Things will happen to the glory of God's name. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Ali. There is no one. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. 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 I just want you to open your mouth wherever you are and glorify the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords, the maker of the universe. There is none like him. None to be compared to him. His ways are perfect. His ways are perfect because he knows the end from the big. He knows the end from the beginning. His ways are perfect. He way his ways are perfect. He is a mighty God. He can do all things. There is nothing, nothing he cannot do. Nothing that he, he wished to do that he cannot do. He is greater, greater, mightier than the mighty. Let's give him praise and worship him. He is the mighty God, the great I am, the great I am. There is nothing he wants to do that he cannot do. The Bible says, is there anything, is there anything impossible with him? Is there anything impossible with him? 
Is there anything impossible with him? He's a mighty God. I just want you to reverence him from the bottom of your heart. Give him praise. Give him praise. Recognize his mightiness. Recognize his greatness over that situation, over whatsoever that is confronting you today over whatsoever that is confronting you that thing that looks so mighty i want you to know no matter how mighty that thing might be he that thing is not the almighty our god is the almighty so no matter how lasting that situation has seems to be our god is the everlasting god reverence him give him praise give him praise glorify his name glorify his name bless him he is great and mighty. We lift you higher, ancient of days. We glorify your name, the I am that I am. You change it not. You are who you are. You change it not. You change situation. You change it not because you know all things and you've made everything, oh God, to walk according to your will. We give you glory. We give you praise. You are not just mighty and great. You are filled with love. You are filled with love for your people for your people the bible says your banner your labor your seal over us is love is love the bible says your mercies are new every morning let's begin to give him thanks for his mercy let's thank him for his love his love knows no boundary the bible says he loves us even when we are yet sinners he chooses to love us let's give him praise let's give him thanks he is so good he is so perfect the bible say it is love defined it is love defined let's give him praise let's reverence our god is worthy to be praised we give you thanks for all the wonderful works for all your good works upon our life the psalmist says thank him for all his benefits for all the benefit we have received from him for all the benefit we have received from him let's give him thanks let's thank him for his goodness upon our life let's thank him for his protection let's thank him for his provision the bible says he is the over jared the god that provides the god that provides let's give him praise let's thank him father we thank you for your provision upon our life we thank you oh father for your provision we thank you for your provision the bible says we've never seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread god is our provider god is our provider when it seems as if nothing uh, it seems as if we we have nothing but from nowhere he provides we remember what he did in the life of the widow the widow of Zarephath. he provides for him and he's providing for us today he is doing the same in the life of many he has been providing it he has been providing if we are sincere and 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 and, and thankful we will see what god is doing we see all he has been displaying let's deny the devil that thing he is trying to that 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 heart that uh, that bitterness is trying to plant in us and see what god is doing and give him praise let's give him praise as we thank him for all his goodness upon our life let's thank him for our family for what he is doing in the life of our family let's thank him for what he is doing in the in the life of our family you know we have become so ungrateful that you know we have become so occupied and you know overwhelmed with what we are asking for with those things that are that seems you know so far from us that we don't recognize what god is doing every Every now and then let's tell him thank you let's appreciate his good works upon our life let's appreciate his good works upon our life let's appreciate his good works let's appreciate his good work he has been so good to us let's appreciate all he has been doing in the life of our family let's thank him for the church let's thank him for the church for what he is doing in the church of god for what he is doing in the church of God, for all he is making happening in the church of God. Let's thank him for the church of God. Well, let's thank you for the gift of the church, the gift of the body of Christ. A lot has been made possible in the life of many, in the fa- in, in so many families, through the, the, the preaching of, of the gospel of God. Let's thank him for what he is doing in the church of God. 
for the life he has saved, for, for, for using the church to bring about his plan, even in this, in this, in, in this our, our, our time. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Let's thank him for the church of God. Let's thank him for the leaders of the church. The leaders he has given us, those he has, he has put in place to lead us in this dispensation. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. For the leaders of the church, for his guidance is leading upon the life of the leaders of the church. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Thank him and give him praise. Thank him and give him praise. He's worthy to be praised. Even as we thank him, you know, let's, let's be sincere and ask for his mercy upon our life. Let's be sincere and ask for his mercy upon our life. That God have mercy on me. That Father have mercy on me. May your mercy speak, O oh God, for me. May your mercy, O oh God, locate me. The Lord, I am sorry for those many ways I have offended you. For those many ways I have, O oh God, acted disobediently to your word. Let us pray that God, by your grace, I will see no more. By your grace, I will see no more. May your mercy locate me, Father. I am deeply sorry. Let's begin to pray. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Even as we pray for ourselves, let's pray for our brethren. Let's pray for the church of God that God's mercy will prevail. That God's mercy will prevail. That He will not look upon our sins but on the faith we have in Him. He will, O oh God, separate us from every iniquity tonight. He will separate us from every iniquity tonight. He will separate us from every iniquity. He will put in all the garment of righteousness. That God will confess, O oh God, every act of unrighteousness. We embrace the blood of Jesus this evening. We embrace the blood of Jesus. That blood that was shed. Look upon the blood, Lord Jesus. Look upon the blood, Father. Look upon the blood. We come, O oh God, in the blood of Jesus and we plead of your mercy we plead of your mercy that whatsoever that we act as hindrance to our prayer from our paths oh God this evening we pray may it oh God be cleansed away by the blood may it be cleansed away as we oh God sincerely confess and oh God sincerely ask of your mercy we pray may we be set free from every unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus speak for us. May the blood of Jesus speak for us. May the blood of Jesus speak for our family. May the blood of Jesus speak for the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray as well this evening. We pray that as we continue in prayer this evening, that the Spirit of God will direct us. The Spirit of God will lead us all through that we pray under the influence of the Spirit. Under the influence of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, "What? who knows the heart of a man except the spirit of that man? You know, except the spirit of that man. So who knows the, spirit, the, the mind of God except the spirit of God? It is the spirit of God that enables us to pray accordingly to the mind of God. We pray the spirit of God will direct us in prayers this evening. That we not pray our means, we pray in accordance to the mind of God concerning us. Concerning the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this moment. We thank you, O God, that even as we go ahead, let there be opening, O God. Heavens be open to us. Just, O God, as it was open, O God, to Jacob. Let there be descending and ascending of angels, God. That as we pray, O God, there will be, O God, response, O God. Swift response, O God. Father, that situations will be attended to. Father, situations will be, will be attended to as we leave them in prayer. That in the course of prayer, there will be, let, let the heavens be open to our meeting this evening. Let the heavens be open to our meeting this evening. To this prayer meeting, let the heavens be open. Let there be ascending and descending of angels. That God will not, oh God, pray amiss. We will not just gather. God, our prayers, oh God, this evening will be empowered by the presence of God. 
that as we continue, there will be great move of God's power. Great move of God's power in the name of Jesus Christ. That situations will be attended to. Life will be transformed. Those who are sick will be healed. That in the course of this prayer, God, you will do, O oh God, your great works. Lord, we gather this evening to call upon the heavens to intervene in our affairs, to intervene in every situation that seems, oh God, Father, lasting. Lord, we pray that tonight as we continue in prayer, that Father, you will do that only you can do, and the glory will be given unto your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray as we go ahead to pray uh before we go ahead to pray i want to share with us some passage of the bible that will guide us in the course of our prayers when you you i beg you to go with me to the book of ephesians ephesians chapter 6 ephesians chapter 6 i will read from verse 10 i will read from verse 10 ephesians chapter 6 I will read from verse 10. The Bible says, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the, the waves of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. He said, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to, to withstand the evil day. Take, take upon you the whole armor, the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand. Verse 14 says, Stand. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore, have it done all to stand, stand therefore, praise the Lord. He says, stand therefore, have it done all to stand, stand therefore, having your lions guide with the truth, having on the, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shoot with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god verse 18 he says praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching dear unto with all preservation with all uh, perseverance rather and supplication for all saints. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 18 says, Praying always with all prayers. Praying always with all prayers. As we read, the Bible clearly makes us to understand that our, our rest to in this world, our, 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 the warfare we are engaged in as believers are not physical. They are not they are not physical. They are not fleshly, uh, fleshy uh, uh, battle. You know, he said they are not kana. They are not kana, as uh, in scripture we say. He say they are not kana. Praise the Lord. We don't wrestle against man. We wrestle against spiritual forces in high places, and these spiritual forces they are very, very intelligent, and they are very, very you know they 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 they, 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 they are. All Organized, organized intelligent forces that are wrestling against us and they are fight against us as spiritual. So we need to be spiritually sensitive to work against these forces. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices. So they have devices. They are well, you know, well organized forces of darkness. They have devices. Say so we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. We are not ignorant of their devices. We wrestle against spiritual forces in high places. You say we wrestle against spiritual forces in high places, principalities, against spiritual rulers.
rulers, you know, they are forces of darkness. We wrestle against these forces. Now, the thing is that we it's not it's not about what we are not wrestling against them to get something, but we are wrestling against them to prevent them from taking what we have. It is not about getting something, but about preventing them from taking from us, believers, what we have. So these forces, they are after us because they want to, they want to prevent us to enjoy what God has given to us, the blessings of God. They want to make sure we don't accomplish our divine destiny. So we need to stand against them. That's why the Bible says, after putting on the whole armor, it didn't say you should go after them. It says stand because they will surely come. You don't have to do them anything for them to come. So people will say, you don't have, I don't trouble anyone. So I, I'm just on my own. Do you know that there are people who avoid to pray some certain type of prayer because they say, I don't want to offend anyone. You know, they, they are afraid of demons or whatsoever thing because they, they, they have that fear philosophy that if I did not pray about them, they will not come to me. But you don't have to do the devil anything to come against you. It comes against you whether you like it or not. It comes against you. So these forces, they are always there. But the Bible says, after putting on the old armor, you should stand against them in prayer. You should stand against them in prayer. So our first prayer point tonight is that every organized powers, every organized forces against my life, against my divine destiny, that God frustrates all their efforts frustrate all their effort they are organized and they are intelligent as i said they are organized and they are intelligent we want to pray every organized wicked forces the bible said they are spiritual wicked forces spiritual wickedness in high places we want to pray every evil organized forces against my divine destiny be frustrated by fire i want you to pray that prayer with everything in you, with everything in you, that God, every evil, organized, wicked forces against my divine destiny be frustrated by fire. Be frustrated by fire. I want you to pray that prayer from everything from your heart. That God, every agenda they are running, every, every forces of darkness, organized forces, organized wicked forces evil power evil wicked power that are every organ that are rising against my divine destiny that god let them be frustrated by fire every organized forces against my divine destiny be frustrated by fire be frustrated by fire be frustrated by fire they are organized they are organized Nice. They are organized, so they know how to come. They know how to come. They are always against the Bible says, stand, stand after the stand, stand against them in prayers, in prayers, stand against them in prayers. We want to pray every every organized forces, evil organized forces, every evil organized forces against my destiny be frustrated by fire be frustrated by fire they come in every way in any form that's why i said they are intelligent they know very well how to come against us they know what to what what, what to bring about to hold us down to take that thing so we want to pray that every of that intelligence you know resources they have mapped out against us every of that intelligent tactics they have released against us Lord, we pray it shall not be fruitful in Jesus' name. Every evil intelligence released against our life will not be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know the Bible says that David prayed because he has been with a man who had a very good counsel. This man was wise, very wise man called Ahitophel. But Ahitophel later joined the enemies of David. And David prayed unto God. He said, Father, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. 
We want to pray like David, that every, every wisdom, every intelligence, the evil one has mapped out against us, that the Lord will turn all their counsel, all their, all their intelligence against us into foolishness, into foolish. Are you praying at all? Turn the intelligence of the wicked ones, every intelligent, evil, evil intelligence against our life, be frustrated, be turned into foolishness. Are you praying? God, every intelligent, evil intelligence, they are running against my life. They are running against my life. Lord, let them be, let them be frustrated. They shall not be fruitful. Turn them into foolishness. It shall not be fruitful. 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 They come like a cancer. They come like cancer. They come like, you know, like, 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 like subjections. They come like that. And it's as if we are operating on them. But it is the intelligence of the wicked ones. It is the intelligence of the wicked ones. We want to pray in line with this prayer point that every intelligence I am operating on that is not of God. Lord, deliver me from them all. Deliver me from every intelligence, every wisdom of the wicked ones that I'm operating on. Deliver me from them all. Deliver me from them all. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that David, David is it a, so a group of persons can sell a young king. That this is what David, David is planning. This is what it was a, 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 a foolish counsel. And this king acted on it and it caused the king great pain. Want to pray every counsel sponsored by the wicked ones to lure me into, into aborting my destiny. Every cancer sponsored from the pit of hell. Every cancer sponsored from the pit of hell against my divine destiny. Father, I pray, deliver me from every cancer sponsored by the pit of hell against my destiny that I am operating on already. You know what? The Bible says, it said, do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. But there are many cancer we are operating on that we don't even know the roots. We are operating on this cancer, but we want to pray, Father, deliver me from every evil cancer I have been operating on. Every evil cancer that I've been standing on, operating on, living on, deliver me from them. Deliver me from them. You know, this cancer has not been fruitful to us. We have been there and it has been keeping us years after years. In that same place, we have not been moving, we have not been moving ahead in life because we are operating on a false and wicked cancer sponsored by the pit of hell to make sure we are done. You know, we, 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 we believe it is wisdom. We believe we are wise, we are working on this, but we are going nowhere. We want to pray. Every, every cancer, every cancer, wisdom sponsored by the pit of hell to Pin me down. Lord, deliver me from them all. Deliver me from them all. Are you praying at all? Are you praying at all? It is a night of prayer. A night of prayer. A night of prayer. That God deliver me. It is a, a prayer meeting. Where we pray. Where we pray. So God deliver me from every counsel from the pit of hell. Every counsel from the pit of hell that has pinned me down. That has pinned me down. Deliver me from them all. 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 In the name of Jesus, deliver me from them all. Deliver me from them all. We remember that one of the son of David slept with his own daughter from the counsel of a friend. From the counsel of a friend. And that led to you know to, to more terrible things in, in in the family of of david we want to pray that every counsel you know it might be it might it might look good but it is not of god it is not of god it might look you know rational but it is not of god that every counsel every counsel everything counsel wisdom sponsored by the pit of hell 
to make sure we did not achieve, we did not attain our divine destiny. We pray, Lord, deliver us from them all. The one we are working on already, deliver us from them all. Deliver us from them all. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver us from them all. Deliver us from them all. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver us from them all. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver us from them all. In the name of Jesus, deliver us from every evil counsel, every demonic counsel that is holding us down, that the, the evil one is sponsoring against us. Lord, we pray, it shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand, withstand the evil day. You know, we need the whole armor to withstand the evil day. They are evil day sponsored by the evil ones, but it takes you being equipped by the, by the armor of God for you to for you to be able to overcome this evil day or to withstand this evil day. To withstand this evil day. Praise the Lord. So we are praying tonight that God equip me with this with, with, with that with, with, with your truth. Do you know the Bible says he said the first the first armor he, he spoke of here he said he said he said with your with your leons guide with truth with truth with truth. The Bible says, they shall know the truth and the truth will set them free. The first thing that will bring about our liberation is knowing the truth. Is knowing the truth. The Bible says, I, Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the way, the way, the truth and the life. We want to pray, God help me to know you more. Help me to know the truth in you. Help me to know the truth in you. That every, every lie sponsored by the devil to deviate us from the truth of God's word. Every lies, every lies, false doctrine that is that as we are operating on, that the devil is sponsoring to make sure we live in lies through which it can penetrate us. That God, let the light of your word shine in my heart. Let the light of your word shine in my heart. Help me to know the truth of your... I want you to pray this prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with everything. I pray that God will help you to understand this prayer. This prayer is, is liberative prayer. That God help me to know the truth in your word. The Bible says they shall know the truth and the truth will set them free. He said, he said, he said they, they are set free by, the, by, by, by your word. Your word is truth. The, by the truth, the truth in God's word. The Bible says, guide your leons with truths. That God help me to know and live by the truth of your word. Help me to know. Help me to know the truth of your word. Help me reveal the truth of your word to me as I hear you. As I hear you every now and then from the word. God help me to live in truth of your word. That God every Every lies, every false doctrine that the devil is cooking up, oh God, to push me out of the truth. God, deliver me from them all. Are you praying at all? Are you praying with me that God help us, help us, help us to know the truth, help us to know the truth and to live by the truth and to live by the truth. Help us to know the truth, Lord, and to live by the truth. Help us to know the truth and to live by the truth. The Bible says the truth sets free. The truth sets free. The truth sets free. We are going to pray for the church that God reveal yourself to the church. Help the church to operate in the truth of your word. That any, every false doctrine, the devil is sponsoring in the church. God will deliver his people. God will stop it. We stop every false doctrine. The devil is sponsoring in the church that God's people will be delivered from every false doctrine in the church. That God's people will be delivered. You know, false doctrine flying here and there because of benefits. We want to pray, God, deliver us, O God. Let the truth of your word prevail in the church. Begin to pray. Are you praying with me? Let the truth of God's word prevail in the church of God. 
the truth of your word prevail in the church. The truth of your word prevail in the church. Then begin to pray that God raise men, raise men in this our time. Raise men and women for yourself who will speak the truth, who will continue to break out over the truth of your word, who will stand in the truth of your word and teach the same. He said, he has many who do this and teach the same. He said, these are the children. These are, are, are the ones to inherit the kingdom of God. These are the, are the greats, are the greatest in the kingdom of God. As many who live by these words and teach people to do the same. That God help us to live by the truth of your word. Help, oh God, the church. Let the truth prevail in the church. Let the truth of God's word be revealed that the church will not be, oh God, be mocked at, at every time, at every, 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 every discussion. That God, the truth of God's word will prevail as God raised men, men in this our time, men who and women who will speak his word as it is, who will speak the truth of God's word, who will speak the truth of God's word, who will continue to reveal the truth. Who continue to speak the truth of God's word, even if it makes them unpopular, even if it makes them not to not to have any you know any regard for men, anything. Let the word of God continue to burn in their heart. Let them speak the word at its as it burns in their hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, God raise men for yourself. Father, raise men, O oh God, who will teach the truth of your word, who will teach the truth of your word. Who will teach the truth of your word that the truth will prevail in the church again? The truth of God's word will prevail in the church of God. In the church of God, the truth of God's word will prevail over every doctrine, over every doctrine of men, over every doctrine. The truth of God's word will prevail over any any form of benefit, over any form of oh God, you know greed over every form of oh god selfishness that the truth will be uphold in the church again the truth will be uphold in the church of our time the truth will be uphold the truth will be uphold the truth of god's word will prevail are you praying with me this evening that let god your truth prevail in the name of jesus christ let your truth prevail let your truth prevail Amongst your people, let your truth, the truth of your word, prevail to the glory of your great name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are still praying. We are praying. We are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. You know, many people are. I always say that you know the devil is not about is not concerned about our finance unless if it is a way to get to us. When I mean to us, to our faith, to our, our salvation. So if it's a way to get to our salvation, it goes against your finance. It goes against your health. It goes against whatsoever to get at you. We want to pray. That's why the Bible says, is any afflicted, let him pray. We want to pray. Every affliction the devil is throwing at us to get to us in any form. The Lord, you know, it brings about joblessness. It brings about, you know, you know uh, uh, delay in marriage because it, it can get to you in that aspect. I want to pray that God, everything the devil is bringing at us to get to us, Lord, help us to help us to overcome. Give us the grace to overcome. The grace to overcome overcome the grace to overcome the grace to overcome the grace to overcome begin to pray that god all the grace to overcome because the bible says as many that overcome the same shall receive the crown so there is a crown at the end if you can overcome you remember job the bible say at the end he received all he lost in in double food that god give me the grace to overcome that whatsoever the devil is throwing at us god every affliction everything the devil is throwing at us we declare their end we declare their end in the name of jesus christ we stand against them we stand against 
every affliction, every affliction, everything the devil is throwing at us. We want to name them specifically now. Is there anyone sick? Brethren, let us pray. Is there anyone sick among us? Any form of sickness, any form of it, anyone, anyone, I don't want to know any form of it. Is it kidney problem? Is it liver problem? Is it, you know, cancer, whatsoever it might be called, we pray God tonight that they, we declare the end of that infirmity. We declare the end of that sickness. We declare the end of that affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ, that, that age-long sickness, we speak against it in the name of Jesus. The end of that sickness comes today in the name of Jesus. By the virtue of our prayers in unity, O oh God, and O oh God, in, in contact with the prayer of my brother right now, we join hands to pray that as many, O oh God, who are down with one inner oh God, Father, O oh God, we declare their healing in the name of Jesus. We declare their healing in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone afflicted? The Bible says, let them pray. We want to pray that as many who have been afflicted for long for joblessness, they are, they, 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 it's, not, it's not as if they are not qualified. It's not as if they don't have, they don't have, but it's as if they, they, everything is just blocked. No one is seeing them. Everywhere is blocked. We want to pray that God, the Bible says, God wants us to walk. He said, he, he that refused to walk should not eat. So it is his will that people should walk. We want to pray that God help as many who are looking up to you for job who are trusting you God let the way let the doors be open upon them let the doors of job opportunity be open upon them in the name of Jesus Christ is there anyone oh God who who, who tuned oh God to, 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 to this to this life oh God prayer meeting right now that is passing through that situation we pray Pray, oh God, in, in, in one accord with my brethren, oh God, online. We pray, Jesus, let that one, oh God, Father, be liberated. Let, oh God, the job come. Let the job come to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, Father, tonight that God has many things, oh God, the devil is using to hold them down. Lord, is broken today. In the name of Jesus Christ, is broken today. Is broken today. Every way the devil is using the award, is using the award to work against them. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we nullify the effect of those things. In the name of Jesus Christ, their job, oh God, has come today by the virtue of our prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, for sisters, for even brothers who are trusting you for, 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 for life partner. It's as if nothing is happening. It's as if, oh God, the devil is torturing them. It's as if the devil is torturing them with the, whenever they remember this thing and they, they feel moody and it, it's as if the devil is drawing them down with this thing. But we pray tonight that as many, oh God, who are due and looking up to you for marriage, God, you will bless them mar mar maritally. You will bless the marital life. We bless the marital life. You will bless the marital life to the glory of your name. To the glory of your name. We don't want to know about what oh God might be the cause, but whatsoever it is, you are able, oh God, to rectify it. We pray, God, you will put an end to the delay. Tonight, you will put an end to the delay. They will oh God, be reunited to their life partner to the glory of your name in the name of jesus christ there is nothing you cannot do with you all things are possible you will perfect this in their life and you will take their glory you will perfect this in their life and you will take their praise in the name of jesus christ father we give you glory we give you praise god we are still praying god they are families who are trusting you looking up to you father looking up to you for the blessings of the fruit of the womb they have married for long and it's as if the devil is using this thing to get to them whenever they look around they will be asked where, where, where this god we trust in 
why is it not manifesting you know at times they, they will want to speak of the faithfulness and goodness of god but they, they, they can't speak because it's as if they are not seeing it manifesting in their life the devil is trying to get to them in that medium but tonight we pray father that oh god the end of this oh god affliction come tonight in the name of jesus christ the end of this affliction come tonight in the name of jesus christ father in oh god one accord with my brethren who are online right now praying we pray god that as many under the affliction of this oh god barrenness lord are lifted this day in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible said, The Lord remember Rachel, Lord remember Rebecca, the Lord remember Anna, Lord, you shall remember them, you shall remember them tonight. And this, oh God, Father, barrier will be taken away, whatsoever it might be. Is it biological, oh God, problem? Is it physical problem, spiritual problem? Whatsoever it might be, our God is able. Our God is able. Tonight we pray, may your hands be stretched upon them. May your hands be stretched upon these couples. Upon these couples. God, stretch your hands upon them. As many of them. Father, even in our knees, O oh God, as a church, we pray for them. Let, O oh God, there be fruitfulness. Let there be cry of baby. Let there be children. For children are blessings from the Lord. Lord, make it happen your name be glorified make it happen your name be praised in the name of jesus christ father we thank you we thank you we give you glory we give you glory we give you praise we give you praise because oh god it shall prosper in the name of jesus thank you father thank you father blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name in the name of jesus christ we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. There is nothing you cannot do. With you, all things are possible. Blessed be your name. We want to thank you, Father, for all you've done, for this opportunity you have given to us. We want to thank you for what you will still do, O oh God, in our lives. We want to thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing already. May your name be glorified. May your name be praised. We pray, O oh God, that every spiritual forces, God rising up, oh God, against us. The Bible says, even though they come like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard against them. In any way they are coming tonight, God, in any form they are coming against us, Lord. We pray, Father, according to your word, that the Spirit of God will raise a standard against them. Because we are secured in you. In any form they are coming. The Bible says, even though they come in one way, in seven ways they shall flee. For he that is in us is greater. He that is in us is greater. He that is in us is greater. Father, finally we pray against every spirit of fear. Every spirit of fear that has hold anyone captive, that is, O oh God, tormenting and alive, Lord. Every spirit of fear. The Bible says, he has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of sound mind, the spirit of sound mind, we pray every spirit of fear be taken away, be taken away, be we deliver us, O God, from every spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Because we know for, for a certain, for a sure, that, O God, as many who are down with one illness are healed. By the cause of our meeting tonight, as many, oh God, who are done with one illness or the other, they are healed by the stripe, by the stripe of Jesus, by the wounds of Jesus. They are healed. Thank you, Father. As many, oh God, who are expecting one thing or the other, trusting you for something, God, there is delivery to the glory of your name. We thank you, God, because this is a day to be, re to be recorded, God, to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the church of God. We know you will do even greater things in the church. We know you do greater things with the church and in the church. To the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
I want to thank every one of us who made this, who, who, who in one way or the other make this uh, prayer meeting a success, maybe by your presence or by any form. Pray your need, Lord will continue to bless you in all ways in Jesus' name. We want to thank the pastor of our church. We want to thank you for the support and the push all through. Uh, whenever we are online and in every way, we want to give him thanks. I want to say thank him. We want to say thank you uh, for all you are doing. We pray God continue to lift you high and bless you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank the the fathers of uh, of the DISP, the men and all the fathers. I want to thank them for their support. Even as they celebrate today at the Father's Day, we want to thank the father of this ministry, of this uh, parish, uh, our pastor. We want to tell him a happy Father's Day and thank you for all you are doing. Pray God will continue to bless you, uplift your family and you know, give us the grace to emulate that fatherly uh, 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 example you are showing in the name of Jesus. We want to thank everyone, everyone who has been supporting uh, our, our prayer meeting, our, our Bible study online. We, we pray that God will continue to support you one way or the other in Jesus' name. We want to encourage every one of us to keep sharing this page, keep sharing is a way of propagating the gospel is a, is a way of propagating the gospel. Keep sharing the page. Uh, as you do that, God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. So don't forget, every, every, every Sunday by 9 p.m. is our prayer meeting. Every Sunday by 9 p.m. is our prayer meeting. And also on Monday is our Bible study. Every Monday is our Bible study. Make time to join us. Make time to join every Monday by 8 p.m. Dubai time is our Bible study. Why on Sunday by 9 p.m. Dubai time as well is our prayer meeting. We meet online. We meet, sorry, we meet physically on sites. So the weekdays we, 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 we come live here on Facebook. But during the weekend here in Dubai, which is Friday, we, we meet physically here in another, uh, close to Safim or if you are anywhere around another charger, you will know this d direction. So the, the, even in the comments, this, you will see the, the, this, the, this thing there, the uh, location. So you, and you, you see some numbers there. You can call anyone if you, you, you cannot locate the place and you will be guided properly. We want to thank every one of us. Don't forget this Friday, we are still, our pastor is still dealing on the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, the, the Friday before last was, was wonderful. So make time to, to, to come. The, 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 the teaching continue on the Holy Spirit. Make, make time to be with us and you will, you, you, you will not regret. You will not regret it. You will be glad that you did. So make, make our time. We meet 9.30 p.m. Rather, 9.30 a.m. every Friday. Try to be there this Friday and you'll be glad you did. Thank you, everyone.